Beneath the crowded cities, lush farmland and broad rivers of Bangladesh lurks a deadly poison. Naturally occurring arsenic lies buried in thick sediments that have been washed down for thousands of years by the rivers that drain the Himalayas. Under certain conditions, the arsenic is released from the soil into underground aquifers that supply millions of people with water for drinking, washing, and farming. The arsenic-laced water has been linked to many long-term health problems, including cancers, heart disease and respiratory ailments, diabetes, and cognitive development in children. It may be contributing to as many as one in five deaths in Bangladesh. Scientists from Columbia University, the University of Dhaka, and other institutions have been working for nearly two decades to figure out how the contamination occurs and what can be done to alleviate the problem. We first came to know about arsenic in 1993 in Bangladesh. At the time, our knowledge was very limited about arsenic. We did not know, I would say, we did not know anything about arsenic. This was a kind that came as a shock to us and we did not know what to do with that. Then we started looking for existing knowledge in other parts of the world. And then this project came with a big opportunity for us to go deep into the problem, to know the causes, to know the health effect, to know the impact on agricultural fields. I'm Brian Mayu and I teach environmental science at Barnard College. I'm here as part of the Columbia University Superfund Research Project, looking at arsenic and groundwater and we try to understand how arsenic, naturally occurring arsenic, gets into the groundwater and what controls its mobilization. So is the arsenic moving through the subsurface and then is, it, is the problem getting worse or better over time? So we're trying to understand you know, where it's coming from and where it's going. So today we were working at Site B, which is in the Balakandi village, which is in Arihazar, Bangladesh. It's about something like 25 kilometers east of Dhaka, which is the capital. We have eight wells there that range from about 25 to 300 feet below surface, and they span a range of arsenic concentrations. And so we are, those wells have been monitored for the last 10 years, approximately monthly. And we're coming back and looking at their water chemistry to understand um, long-term changes in arsenic concentration. Nearby, a local crew drilled a test pipe down through layers of sediment. Every several meters, they pulled back the pipe and extracted a sample for researcher Edwin Yanaprakasam from the University of Manchester, who will use DNA sampling to identify which bacteria transform arsenic into a soluble form and release it into the groundwater. A bubble of clear plastic inflated with nitrogen served as a makeshift field lab a relatively oxygen-free environment that preserved the bacteria. Inside the bubble, he scraped samples into small vials for later testing. We know bacteria are responsible for releasing the arsenic from the sediment to the water, but we want to understand those bacteria better. What bacteria are down there and what are they doing? And I spend a lot of time looking for what carbon they're eating. So is, are they eating carbon from the sediment? or are they eating carbon coming in from the water? And so, so if you can understand what carbon they're utilizing, you can better understand how the arsenic's getting released. Most of the arsenic contaminated water comes from shallow hand pump wells dug between the 1960s and 1980s to provide cleaner drinking water and combat the spread of diseases spawned in polluted surface water. But by the 1990s, people were developing skin lesions and other signs that something was wrong. New tests of well water showed arsenic levels 10 to 100 times higher than allowable standards, and it was clear that arsenic was causing a new set of health problems. The government and private organizations had been replacing the shallow wells with deeper ones that reach down into older sediments where the arsenic levels are low, but in some areas, Tests are now showing arsenic in deeper wells, too. In Jashore, in western Bangladesh by the border with India, Alexander Van Geen from Columbia's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory and his colleagues are working to find out why. In general, arsenic uh, should be in the shallow aquifer, and it is actually in all other places of Bangladesh, it is confined within uh, the top 200, 300 feet. 
In this part of the country, however, the arsenic is found uh, in deep oils, oils deeper than 500 feet. So we are trying to understand why the arsenic is there. Is it because of some engineering problem or is, is it because of the geology is defined there? So we are collecting samples, groundwater samples, we are doing some uh, leak test in the wells, we are uh, lowering cameras in the wells and uh, we'll be collecting some samples for uh, age dating and that would help us to understand what is, the, what is going on here. There are two possibilities. One, and we've had credible reports that this might be a factor, is that when a driller installs a well, if he researches a certain depth and feels that there's not enough, the aquifer is not going to provide the water he needs, there's a great temptation to install the screen at a shallower depth. We brought over from the US a downhole camera that, um, uh, that is uh, thin enough, less than an inch in diameter, uh, to go down these deep wells and just document directly whether the screen is at the prescribed depth or where it's at another depth. The other aspect of the, of the checking that we do is that we need to investigate whether uh, potentially uh, some t pipes became disconnected over time uh, at shallow depths, and if that were the case, then potentially high arsenic uh, water from shallow aquifers could intrude into the well, and that would be the cause of the increase in the arsenic of the water that people are drinking. Arsenic also poses problems for farmers. Years of pumping arsenic-laced water for irrigation has contaminated soil, where it is taken up into the growing rice plants. The arsenic stunts the rice and also adds to how much of the poison people ingest. Van Geen and Ben Bostick, also from the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, and a team of researchers traveled west across the broad Padma River, called the Ganges in India, to the city of Faridpur. In nearby villages, they are working with farmers to reduce arsenic contamination and boost crop yields. Um, one of the problems that we have in Bangladesh is people need a lot of water for agriculture in the dry season and they irrigate a lot. And they irrigate with water that often has arsenic in it. And so what our experiment today is doing is looking at the effects of that irrigation over the long term on the agricultural productivity of rice. We are also interested in thinking about how to potentially solve those problems. We're trying to determine if removing the surface soil that has becoming, become contaminated with arsenic by irrigation over say a decade or two we're trying to see whether removing that most contaminated soil will restore the yield to previous levels. So our concern is that as farmers uh, start to realize that one of the reasons their yields, their rice yields has been going down is because they've been irrigating their rice crops with shallow water that is high in arsenic, that they will then uh, start installing deeper wells and that there was, this might even make economic sense that draw from deeper aquifers that are low in arsenic and start irrigating their uh, fields with that. The concern is that this might draw uh, high arsenic water from shallow wells into these deeper aquifers and in the process they will be contaminating their drinking water. It would have been really good like today if not a single person was exposed to high arsenic but unfor unfortunately still a large number of people are exposed so our goal, ultimate goal, is to work to know the scientific basis of this mitigation and provide those information to the government so that they can target their mitigation and uh, know people are exposed to high arsenic. <laughs> Thank you.